morning. It is Thursday, July 11th, and I am at the pit. My, I have a mint in my mouth, I'm sorry. My favorite workout class right now. It's in Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, today, it's a group, um, it's a group training class. Sorry, people are like walking by and I just don't feel comfortable vlogging in front of them. Um, it is back day today. So I am sipping on BCAAs and like a quarter of a scoop of pre-workout. And I'm just not feeling great this morning. I feel super bloated and I think I know why. And that's actually why I picked up my camera to vlog. Because I want to have a talk with you guys on like how to determine if you're bloated, why you're bloated, uh, the reasons for that and how you can fix that bloat feeling. So I am on a mission today because for the past couple days I, today I feel super bloated as soon as I woke up, um, but for the past couple days I just haven't been feeling great. Um, just like, a, I don't know. It, I've just been like feeling off and I know exactly why so and it's because of food choices and not bad food choices either it's not like I'm going out it's not like I'm eating sugar um, it, it's things that you would assume are healthy that can really affect your mood um, obviously your bloat so I just want to have a little talk with you a little bit later so I'm gonna get my workout in right now back day back in like cardio I'm gonna run to the grocery store to get stuff for my savory oats because I need to start having that again um, so I will see you guys back at home for a little chit chat on why I'm feeling bloated, why I'm feeling just like off and how you guys can fix that in your own life. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Got some egg whites, some tomato, my favorite egg whites and tomato, and then a raw, or, uh, raw organic vegan berry coconut oatmeal parfait this is my favorite i haven't had it in so long because i actually crave it when i have it and it's just sweet and it doesn't keep me full very long but i'm i was so hungry i actually left my workout uh before it was it was done i'll talk to you more about that after i eat but i just want to show you my little breakfast protein all the protein i'm gonna eat the protein first and then i eat my my sweet parfait all right, first meal of the day. It's a wrap in five minutes. All the egg whites, my parfait, and then I drank these <laughs> when I was waiting for my egg whites to be cooked. This was, you can't really see, but it was a detoxifier shot with red grapefruit, lemon, turmeric, cayenne pepper, young coconut water, and sea salt. So I drank that, and then I had turmeric, just, uh, it's just literally turmeric, lemon, ginger, black pepper, um, you really want black pepper with your turmeric because it like activates the turmeric and then just straight ginger That was all it was was just ginger juice um, so I am gonna run on over to Fresh market. I'm in this beautiful little area in Boca Raton. It's gorgeous. There's just restaurants and uh, It's pretty gorgeous. So I'm gonna go to Fresh Market, grab some things, and then we will chit chat.
Okay, so I got such a good nutritious meal here. I'm, my body is gonna love this. So I have my little avocado toast. I have the rest of the avocado because I used half of an avocado. It was a big guy and I'm gonna eat all the fat. <laughs> so I just have that on a slice of tomato and I'm gonna just, like top it, I think, with another little slice of tomato. But I just wanted to show you. Um, I added some hemp hearts because they are really good. They're a whole protein source, um, really good fat source, very good for you. And then my little sushi rolls with some ginger and then coconut aminos on the side, but I'm gonna eat this and then get to my hair appointment. Well, hello, I have extensions. I did not end up vlogging the rest of the day yesterday um, because Brian and I went to go get a burger right after my hair appointment. Um, I love it so much. I, sorry, my ring light is right in front of me, but I love it. She did like an ombre. And the reason I wanted extensions, I did miss my length, but I have always wanted to go more blonde and my hair can't get there um, in a healthy way. And so I was just like feeling something new and different and I love it. I love it so, so much. But I wanted to, this video is gonna be a little bit all over the place I think because I recorded a big long clip. It was like a 15 minute long clip uh, all telling you guys all about like how I was feeling in the gym yesterday, how I had to leave. Um, I was just really lacking food and I felt it really, really hard in my workout. Um, but the the clip was 15 minutes long and I really just didn't want the video to be that long of me talking. So I am just going to backtrack here. I am going to switch and show you what I had for breakfast today post-workout. I felt like a new freaking woman this morning during my workout. I was like back to my normal self and it was right after I had my burger. The last meal of my night last night was a big old burger and fries at our favorite restaurant in Boynton Beach called Sweetwater. And I just had so much energy. I came home and I had a really great, big, nutritional, anti-inflammatory breakfast. I feel absolutely incredible. So I wanna show you that meal just so you can see what I ate. And then I'm gonna finish out the video talking to you guys about how to be more aware of your body when you're feeling bloated, when you're feeling puffy or fat or whatever. I want to teach you how to figure out why, what foods could be causing this, what supplements or lack thereof could be causing that feeling of bloat or discomfort. So I'm gonna show you my breakfast and then we're gonna end this with a really, really great talk. So I hope that you stick around and listen to it because it will 100% benefit you, I think. And this is the stuff that like really fascinates me and gets me excited about nutrition and the body and just wellness in general. So I'll see you in a quick little second. I'm making breakfast right now after my leg workout and I just wanted to talk you guys through the base. I'm making my egg whites right now and then the base of this is pretty much exactly what my savory oats is except I used brown rice because I had some in the fridge that I really had to use up. So I have brown rice, I have spinach, I have um, mushrooms, I have some tomatoes on top and some... Um, chopped up beets and then I just oh and some kimchi of course and then I seasoned it with some curry powder and then I'm going to top it with my egg whites so good mm -hmm. and then this is the finished product oh my god this looks so good to me so what I did after the egg whites were cooked I actually threw this whole bowl of the base into the pan so I could mix it all together because I'm using a pretty small bowl today but this is my post-workout meal tons of goodness oh my gosh I'm so excited. Savory breakfast. You can have rice for breakfast. Does it need to be bread? It doesn't need to be oatmeal. Oh my God, I'm excited. All right, all right. We are gonna have a little office talk. I'm gonna set myself up my little office and I am gonna share with you what happened when I had to leave the gym early and why I felt the way that I felt. So let me just prop up my camera quick. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can because the first clip that I recorded was a 15 minute clip and sorry, I'm getting used to my hair. Um, so I'm just like constantly playing with it. But the day before I had my little gym episode where I was, I had to leave the gym. I mean, when I say I left the gym early, it wasn't really, I didn't leave early. 
they finish the workout with a two minute like finisher and with like a minute left of the finisher i was like i'm so dizzy i have to go i put the weights down and i like i, I bolted and i went straight to get food because i was starving weak dizzy like shaky because i had eaten a very low calorie very low carb dinner the night before and that was not like on purpose so to speak the reason why i had such a low carb dinner was because i was actually filming a recipe for you guys and i didn't want to just throw it away because i don't eat low carb but i do get requests for low carb recipes so it's like what do i do i have to serve you guys but then i don't want to just like throw money down the toilet and not eat the food i'm making so i had spaghetti squash the night before and um it was a spaghetti squash recipe which you guys are going to actually see this thursday um and spaghetti squash is a great low carb option but it's just it it's not enough food for me so um I was very just weak and depleted in the gym and that whole week I mean I guess it's Friday today so this whole week I have been feeling off my stomach has been bothering me I just I I've, I've just felt really bloated and just puffy and like just like like just bigger um and it was just getting to my head and the reason I have now, you know, after whenever I feel off, whenever I feel fluffy or bloated or if I feel like there's an issue, if I don't feel my normal great self, the very first thing I look at is what am I eating? Am I eating gluten? Am I eating dairy? Have I had soy? And also or beans beans and lentils really fuck me up so i do not eat black beans pinto beans like i really stay away from that because i know it fucks up my stomach um so that's the first question i ask myself is what have i been eating and then the second question is my supplements have i been taking my digestive enzymes and my pro and my prebiotic and i was actually out of my prebiotic this week I take a probiotic and a prebiotic by biome and whenever I am out of my prebiotic specifically, prebiotic is like your body's like the, the fiber that you need in your body to break down the food and whenever I am out of that, I have these weeks and I just know that I need to just be better about putting myself on a subscription for my biome pro and my prebiotic so that I can constantly be taking that and never be out so if you ever are having stomach issues or feel a certain way and you are feeling any discomfort at all if you are not taking a probiotic a prebiotic and a digestive enzyme you should start taking these supplements and see how they make you feel after a week or even after a day because today is day one back on my normal routine and i feel back to normal and i feel incredible um, I do, I am affiliated with Biome, so I will leave, if you want to support me, it would be really great. Um, I will leave my link below in the description box if you do want to try their probiotic and their prebiotic. Um, so I've been off of that all week long because I just was waiting for my shipment to come in. And then another thing on top of me not being on my prebiotic, I was actually eating, gl eating gluten every single day this week and it was just because I was craving an English muffin and I was eating Ezekiel bread English muffins which is sprouted wheat, it is better for you. Um, and usually gluten does not affect me negatively really. Some, I will feel maybe a little bloated, um, but nothing that, nothing extreme, nothing that I'm like, oh, I can't have gluten. Um, so I do limit gluten to be completely honest. I try in my own personal life to stay gluten free, but if I go out to a restaurant, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so instead of having like a gluten free English muffin or gluten free bread, I went for the Ezekiel sprouted wheat just because I know that it's better for you. Um, it's more more nutrient it, you your body absorbs the nutrients better because it's sprouted wheat so I was trying to get you know the nutrients from the, the Ezekiel bread but maybe it was upsetting my stomach maybe it was causing me bloat because I was at, off of my prebiotic so um, those were just a couple things that I had been doing differently this week and I could definitely feel the difference just with the bloat and then that like puffy 
just un not uncomfortable really I don't want to say I was uncomfortable all week long but I did just feel puffier um, and you know I just had those days of feeling fat which I know I'm not fat but I just had that, that feeling so if you are ever facing discomfort bloat or any of that those feelings you need to look at your food are you eating dairy soy gluten are you taking a probiotic a prebiotic or and or a digestive enzyme those are the questions to ask yourself and also if you are ever in the gym and you're feeling weak or shaky um hey babe um you need to reflect on have you eaten properly before the gym what was your meal if you work out early in the morning like i do what was your dinner last night the reason why you're feeling like that is because you are not fueled or hydrated properly so I hope this little talk helped to make you realize that you really have to start prioritizing your food choices a little bit better if you are feeling any discomfort. And um, I also wanted to point out that I am opening back up my uh, eight week group coaching program and that is gonna start on July 29th and I'm gonna give my YouTube family a little discount. So if you want a couple hundred dollars off of this program, shoot me an email right now. My email is in the description box. If you want to be coached by me, workouts, nutrition, a secret Facebook group, weekly check-ins, send me an email and let me know that you watched my YouTube video and until Wednesday at 11.59 p.m., I will be honoring this discount. So if you are interested, you'll have all day today, all day tomorrow, all day Wednesday to take advantage of this discount. So Wednesday until 11.59 p.m., you will be able to take advantage of my group coaching program. It is eight weeks long, um, so let me know if you're interested in that. I look forward to potentially hearing from you and working with you. And I'm gonna end this vlog here, and then on Thursday, I will be uploading three different crock pot recipes that you are not gonna wanna miss. They are all recipes that you could make for dinner, and then I teach you and show you how you can repurpose those recipes for lunch so there's really no excuse to show up to work or live your life unprepared so that is going to be uploaded on thursday some really great recipes for you guys so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to keep seeing videos from me especially that video on thursday you're not going to want to miss it so i will talk to you guys soon bye